Okay, this is user interface of Marvelous Design. It's very beautiful and nice. As you can see, this is the logo of Marvelous Designer. We have lots of menus here that are uh, exactly these tools here that are the main tool of the Marvelous Designer for designing and controlling the classes and simulation. <clears throat> All of these tools, if you are going most over them, the uh, menu will be open. And as you can see, you can access all of the tools here. All of these tools, as you can see, they are with the <clears throat> shape and the text, but here are organizing as well here. I will be explaining them one by one. And as you can see, this is a 3D window of the Marvelous Designer. We have two main library here. It's a <clears throat> general library and the store you can click and go to uh, store and buy product of other designers <clears throat> here you can simply uh, double click to open your clothes here i will explain navigation here this is a 2d window you can create your 2d window here and then you can wear it on your avatar this is a 2d window 2d pattern window and this is a 3D window. <clears throat> uh, as you can see, our uh, we have uh, this menu. We, if you open it, we have 3D window, 2D pattern. We have a lot of main window of this software here. Uh, for example, here it's a fabric. If you click any very nice software, its properties editor will be <clears throat> open here. Or if you click here, as you can see, different properties. Or if you click on this fabric, different uh, properties will be open here. This is properties editor. It means if you open it, you can, for example, uh, open the button properties here. If you click it, as you can see, you can button properties or you can open there. But it's better the properties editor uh, open here. Don't worry, we'll be explaining all of them uh, in the future. And here you can duplicate your window here and you can, for example, define another, for example, UV editor. This is a UV editor window of that. If you want to export your <clears throat> classes, you can go in here and work and export. That will explain. And here you can close this part. As you can see, it's converted to the tab and you can open it again. You can click and drag and resize the window like this. It's very interesting. You can duplicate it again, close it. And as you can see, it's gone. If this happen, you can simply going down here, you can go to the one window, two window, four window, <clears throat> and you can go in here, for example, change it to the library if you want. As you can see, exactly this library will come here. You can, for example, change it to the history. That I will explain it. But as you can see, our layout will be go uh, gone and everything is changing and here you can reset to the default layout and everything uh, become as the first the default turn to the default nice this is default don't change it it's very nice and another thing that you can you can go in here click and drag this is a toolbar you can click and drag it and drop it anywhere that you want here and here as you can see, I prefer it this. Uh, I want my toolbar mm, uh, arranged here. I like it very because uh, if you click it, for example, so click it here. As you can see, some tools are hidden. I don't like it. I want nice and we have more window to control our pattern 
And here, if you go to the setting and preferences, <coughs> we have a user interface here. You can change your unit system. Uh, I mean, a millimeter. You can change it to the centimeter that you want, that you like it. Reset program to apply the changes. Yeah, you have to reset it. If you want to lower large button, you can turn it on. And here is a toolbar. Default is uh, all of them are at the top. <clears throat> you can change it to, to the left, right button that I uh, change it manually here. You can change the font and DPI is on. It's nice. Okay, for changing the unit, you have to reset your, you have to close it and reopen it again. Okay, nice. This is the user interface of Marvel's Designer. And the big change that I changed it is it's, it's the toolbar. I changed the placement of the tool, toolbar here and here. Okay. Let's begin working with the tools and creating some interesting classes. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.